Hello, this is uh, SAP Field Glass training uh, time entry for ACARA employees on the uh, mobile device version of SAP Field Glass. Um, as you can see, this is going to be the uh, home screen once you open the application on your phone or iPad or tablet. Uh, in the middle, you can see where it says sign in with QR code. Um, you can do that if you'd like, but it's not necessary. Um, the way I always recommend you log in is manually. Um, and to do that, on the top right of the screen, you'll see an icon that looks like a wrench. Um, you'll click on the wrench, which will allow you to manually enter your username and password that was provided by ACARA. Now remember, when you're entering your username and your password, these are going to be case sensitive. So um, most of us, when we enter on our keyboard the username, the first letter will default as capital. Uh, make sure that you make that as lowercase. And then enter the password exactly the way it was provided. If there's a capital letter, numbers, um, any symbols. And then you complete registration. Click on the blue bar there where it says complete registration. So now I'm logged into the app. Um, there are two squares in the middle of the screen you can see. The first one says approve timesheets. That may also show um, anything pending approval or um, a rejected timesheet as well. So there's the right part of the screen, then the left um, square there, the box, it says um, enter or submit timesheet. So those are timesheets that are waiting to be submitted. So I'm gonna click on the left box. And for this example, I'm going to be entering the timesheet with the date range 9-5 to 9-11. The one on the top will um, be the most recent draft timesheet uh, that needs to be entered. So always make sure you're checking those dates to be sure, double, triple check to make sure that you're entering the correct week. So once I've checked, I can click on that um, rectangle, the top one with those dates and it will bring me to the week summary. So each day, Monday through Sunday, which is how the week goes, payroll week is Monday through Sunday. And when I click on each day, kind of on the right side where there's that um, arrow, it will allow me to enter time. So I click on the top one for Monday and then click again. And uh, as you can see here, this individual had a timesheet from the week before. So in doing opening Monday, it remembers what was last entered. So what you wanna do, um, if, that's the, if it's filled in there, is make sure you delete anything that's in there because we're, we're starting a new week. So we're gonna delete that overtime. We're gonna delete the straight time and for this example, um, ST per hour, that's straight time or standard time per hour. The second one, OT per hour, that's overtime per hour, which is time and a half your rate. And then DT per hour is double time. You really shouldn't ever have that. Um, so that would mean you have over 80 hours in one week, which you won't. So ST standard time, the first day of the week, it's all straight time. The only time you have overtime is once you exceed 40 hours. So I'm saying for this individual, they worked nine and a half hours. So nine hours straight time, and then click on the next box, and you'll be able to check, uh, click on 30, and that will be 9.5 hours. So you can see where it says 9.5 hours. Add entry in the bottom right, which is in blue there. I'm gonna click add entry. I'm gonna click save entry. So now Monday's saved. Now you can do this as you go through the week and just save your timesheet as a draft. That way, when you work your last day, um, you know, you'll have it all in draft. You won't have to enter as much. Um, and it, to do that, at the bottom of the screen where it says complete later, you'll click on that and that will allow you to save your timesheet as a draft. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter the whole week. So here's, I'm gonna click on Tuesday 
click again. And I'm going to enter the nine and a half hours. Nine hours and 30 minutes. Add entry, save entry. So I've got Monday and Tuesday. I'm going to go to Wednesday. Nine hours. 30 minutes. Add entry. Save entry. And you can see here on the screen in light blue, just below Saturday and Sunday, it's keeping a running total of the hours so far. So you need to refer to that so that you know where to begin your overtime. Now I'm going to click on Thursday again, nine hours, 30 minutes, add entry, save entry. So now we're at 38 hours, very close to the 40 hours, two away in fact. So when I enter Friday, I'm going to enter two ST to make the 40 hours, and the remainder of the shift will be OT, overtime. So click on Friday, click again. So remember, this is two this time. And let's say they worked, um, let's say they worked a shorter shift on Friday, eight and a half hours. So then that's gonna be, sorry, six hours and 30 minutes overtime. So straight time two hours, that makes our 40. Six and a half to make up that eight and a half total. Add overtime, save entry. So this individual had a total of 46.5 hours. 6.5 of those are overtime. Now I'm going to submit the timesheet. So on the bottom right corner in blue, there's the Submit Entries button, so I click on it. Then it will bring up this uh, little message. You can ignore that. Click Submit. You don't have to use a pin. Click Submit. And one more time. See, this is just to make sure that you've allocated your hours correctly, which we have. Then Submit. Submit again. And it says timesheet submitted successfully. So you can see here now we have three boxes. There's the enter submit time, there's the pending approval timesheets, and then there's the approved timesheets from the past. So um, we have submitted our time, and you can leave it uh, logged in or you can sign out here. So you click on the little, click on the uh, person and it will log you out. I hope this was helpful. Um, if you have any further questions or concerns, you can ask Amy Rector, um, but I hope this video does help you with your time entry.